Hello viewers, this is Wagda Renal taking you through today's tutorial on further integration. And today's lesson shall talk about integration by using natural logarithms. So we already know that integral of x power n is got by increasing the power by 1 and then you divide by the new power. But that formula holds only if n is not equal to negative 1. Why? Because when n is equal to negative 1, we shall put here negative 1 to get negative 1 plus 1 which is 0. So the whole of this divided by 0 becomes meaningless. Now such integrals where, n, where the power is equal to negative 1 are integrated with the help of natural logarithms. And, they, and in that case, we shall say that when I want to integrate x to power negative 1 or 1 over x, I think we need to realize that from in indices, x power negative 1 is the same as 1 over x. So if I want to integrate x power negative 1, my answer will be natural log. So this lean, this is pronounced as lean x, meaning natural log of x. So the integral of x power negative 1 is equal to natural log of x plus c. Don't forget the constant of integration. So now in general we shall realize that if I want each time I want to integrate a function whereby the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, my answer must be equal to natural log of the function at the denominator. Always note that when each time you are given a, an integral First, look at the denominator and the numerator. So, if you realize that the denominator, the numerator is the function of the denominator, then always know at the back of your mind that the answer must have natural logarithm. So, we shall use that knowledge to go through the solution. The following problems. So problem one says find the integral of 2 over 5x with respect to x. So now in that case, this 2 and over 5 is a constant. So the best thing to do is to first take it out. Now when I take it out, I remain with 1 over x, which is here. And we already know that integral of 1 over x is the same as lean x. Therefore, I will just say this integral is lean x, which is this, and the one which is outside is 2 over 5, which is that. So in the end, I'll get my integral as 2 over 5 lin x plus c, where c is the constant of integration. Problem 2 says that find the integral of x over 2x plus 1, sorry, x over x squared plus 1. So in this case, we, are, we shall use change of variable. We shall first let u to be equal to the denominator, which is x squared plus 1. When we get the du dx will become 2x, and therefore dx will become 1 over 2x du. And now when I substitute for dx and for x, I'll realize that the whole of this x squared plus 1 is equal to u, so I'll put my u here. Now I'll first wait to substitute for this x because in my dx there is also x. So and the end they will cancel. So I first leave that x there. Then I replace my dx with this, which will be this in bracket. And from here I realize that this x and this x can cancel and remain with a half here, which is this a half. And this side you remain with 1 over u, which is this. And we already know that integral of 1 over u will be equal to the natural log of u. So in the end, we shall come up with this a half, which is here, multiplied by lin u, which is the, in the integral of 1 over u. But remember, we are the ones who introduced in the u. So what we shall do, we have to replace back our x by remembering that u is equal to x squared plus 1. So wherever, where there is u, I'm going to put there x squared plus 1. So I'll come here and put x squared plus 1 to become a half lean x squared plus 1. 
and the ender will come up with lean this a half can come this side and becomes a power remember that when the power is a half it means it's the same as the square root so in the end i can get lean square root of x squared plus one plus c so don't forget the constant of integration now shall go to problem three problem three says that find the integral of x squared divided by x cubed minus two so the first thing to do is to let the denominator be equal to a variable u and when i get the derivative i'll come up with du dx being equal to 3x squared and when i make dx the subject i'll come up with my dx as being equal to 1 over 3x squared du now i have to substitute for dx where there is dx i'll put there 1 over 3x squared du and where there is x cubed minus 2 i'll put there u now our first way to substitute for this x squared which is the numerator because in my dx there is also x squared so in the end they will cancel so i'll first leave it there say that at the end when you realize this and this can cancel and i remain with 1 over 3 here which is this and this side i remain with 1 over u which is that but I remember that integral of 1 over u is the same as lean u. And this third comes here. So in the end you come up with a third lean u. Now when I, after that remember we are the ones introduced in the u. So we have to again substitute for u. u is equal to x cubed minus 2. So in the end I will come up with inter, this integral being equal to a third lean in brackets x cubed minus 2 plus c where c is the constant of integration so that has been our lesson for today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform thank you